morning and a warm welcome dear students today before we begin our lesson i am going to show you some pictures are you ready for that children yes so let's start This is the picture of a cat, a dog and an elephant. Yes, this is the cat, dog and an elephant. Now support children, if I ask you to speak a few sentences about any of this animal, are you ready? Can you say, can you tell me something about the animals that you see over here? Let's take example of a cat. What can you talk about a cat? What can you tell me about a cat? Yes, you can tell me the cat has four legs. It has got two tiny ears. Then it has got two green eyes. Then you can also tell me the Tail. The tail of the cat is long and bushy. Then the food habits of the cat. You can tell me the cat likes to drink milk. Likes to eat fish. Yes, then you can also tell me that whether you are fond of the cat or no. Do you like to keep the cat in your house or no? And if you like, why do you like to keep the cat in your house. So when you say all these sentences, when you talk about the cat, when you speak about the cat and you told me it has got tiny ears, then the green eyes, then the color of the cat, its four legs, its food habits, etc, etc. All these sentences, when you put all these sentences together, it makes a paragraph. So today in English we are going to learn about paragraph writing. How to write a paragraph. But before we begin, let's see what is paragraph writing. We should know what is a paragraph writing. A paragraph is a group of sentences. Many sentences you put together. So it is a group of sentences related to one main topic or idea. Now for example, when you are writing a paragraph about a cat, then you should not write anything about the elephant or something about the dog. You just have to talk about the cat. So that is called as Related to one topic. So you are not going to change. You are not going to shift from cat to dog. And then to the elephant. You are just going to talk about the cat. Paragraph writing may be divided into descriptive, narrative and imaginative. Now descriptive. Now for the small children. Mostly for the primary section. We use descriptive paragraphs. That is when you see a cat. You describe it. You describe the cat. That is called as descriptive. Now let's learn how to write a paragraph. Now take a new page in your grammar notebook. Right there on the top of the margin. Can you see this is the red line? And again this red line which you will see in your book. So at the top you write the paragraph writing. Then you write my pet. We are going to write a paragraph about my pet. So in the center you write my pet. Now all the sentences that we have discussed together are put together here in the group. So let's see what we have written. Many people love to have pets. And even 
I have a pet cat. So we are going to write the paragraph about a cat. The name of my pet cat is Kalu. It is very cute. Its color is black and has white patches on its body. That means Kalu is black in color and somewhere on the body the Kalu has white patches. It has two bright green eyes. Okay. My cat has two green eyes, two tiny ears and a long tail. It also has sharp claws. The legs, the nails you can say. Kalu looks very attractive. Now, here we are going to change the paragraph. So, when you change the paragraph, you leave a line over here and start the paragraph again from the red line. After the red line as we have started here. Kalu is very smart and intelligent. It is loyal, humble and easy to train and maintain. Unlike dogs and other pets, the cat is naturally a clean pet. So like other animals, cat is very clean, naturally clean. It is naturally, the nature has made a cat clean. It loves to eat fish and drink milk. Kalu enjoys playing with its own tail. It loves to chase a mouse. It loves to run behind a mouse. It loves to sleep near my bed during the night. Kalu is a part of my family. I treat my pet cat Kalu as one of my family member. I love my pet cat very much. Now this is all the description about the cat. Okay, you have a cat and the name of your cat is Kalu and you are describing how your cat is. First you, you have said it's very cute. Then you are telling about the color. Then about the cat's eyes, ears and a tail. Then about its claws. And then finally you say it looks very attractive. Then you say how intelligent and smart the cat is. Then you also say it's loyal, humble. Mostly you see cats, they rob the things. But your cat is very loyal, humble. Then unlike dogs, we have already discussed, it's a clean animal. Then it loves to eat fish and drink milk. Kalu enjoys playing with its own tail. Then it loves to chase a mouse, run behind a mouse. It loves to sleep near my bed during the night. So your cat, it sleeps near your bed during the night. Kalu is a part of my family. I love my pet cat very much. Now you are going to repeat this after me. One, two, start. My pet. So once again, you have to write this in the center. You start right from the this first line. Many people love to have pets. And even I have a pet cat. The name of my pet cat is Kalu. It is very cute. Its color is black and has white patches on its body. It has two bright green eyes, two tiny ears and a long tail. It also has sharp 
क्लॉज कालू लुक्स वेरी अट्रैक्टिव कालू इज वेरी स्मार्ट एंड इंटेलिजेंट इट इज लॉयल हम्बल एंड इजी टू ट्रेन एंड मेंटेन अनलाइक डॉग्स एंड अदर पेट्स द कैट इज नेचुरली अ क्लीन पेट इट लव्स टू इट फिश एंड ड्रिंक मिल्क कालू enjoys playing with its own tail it loves to chase a mouse it loves to sleep near my bed during the night kalu it's a part of my family i love my pet cat very much thank you